Today we're going to talk about the Coriolis effect. I think the best way to explain the Coriolis effect is to look at a map. Let's say we're here in Houston, Texas, and we decide that we're going to fly north. And we're going to fly north for however long it takes for us to get to Canada. And then right before we get to Canada, flying only directly north, we're going to land. So a lot of students might think that we would land somewhere here in this North Dakota, Minnesota area. What if I told you that that's completely wrong and the answer is more close to Washington out here? You might say, well, why? That makes no sense at all. But remember, as soon as your airplane takes off and your airplane is no longer touching the ground, the Earth is still rotating. So while you're in the air, the planet is still slowly rotating until you reach Canada and it's time for you to land. And at that point, you are over Washington. So if we were to map what your path looks like, it would more closely look like this. Now notice that your path curves to the left, right? We would say to a counterclockwise direction. If we look at what weather patterns do, this is a hurricane. And as it's approaching, it's spinning in a counterclockwise direction. It's the exact same phenomena that we experienced here with the airplane. It's known as the Coriolis effect. All right? Anytime we have low pressure, which is what we find at the center of a, uh, a hurricane, we have low pressure. The air going towards it is curving in a counterclockwise direction going into it. Same thing is true for tornadoes. We can even look at a weather map, and we can see here that we have a low pressure system here. Remember, the triangles on the cold front tell us that it's moving in a counterclockwise direction. Now, if we were to look at a map, right, and we imagine the globe is spinning, and the globe is spinning this direction, right, everything in the northern hemisphere would be curving towards the left, right, in that counterclockwise direction. Now it's funny because it's curving, this globe is spinning this direction. In the southern hemisphere, things would be curving the opposite direction. This would be in a clockwise direction. So in the northern hemisphere, they, things spin in a counterclockwise direction. All right, and we call that the Coriolis effect. And the Coriolis effect is due to the rotation of the Earth. The southern hemisphere is clockwise. Okay, so to summarize, the important thing that you need to remember for the next test that you take, right, is that the Coriolis effect is caused by the rotation of the Earth. Right? And it causes things to curl in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction depending on which hemisphere you are in.